While the main purpose of prayer may be to help others, it never demonstrably does that. Prayers benefit only those believers who say or hear them. Prayer gives them comfort. It lets them think they have some control over a situation that may be out of their hands. It's the last resort of people who have run out of ideas and the first resort of people who never bothered to think about how they could actually fix the problem at hand. This is not harmless. There's a very real downside to praying. It lulls believers into a false sense of accomplishment. We cannot solve our problems, much less the world's, through prayer. We often see people with good intentions praying for victims in the wake of a tragedy, but prayer is useless without action and those actions make the prayers irrelevant. To paraphrase the great Robert Green Ingersoll, hands that help are far better than lips that pray. I have no problem with prayer as an act of meditation. In fact, many atheists can tell you the benefit of silent self-reflection. The delusion occurs when you think someone else is hearing your thoughts and acting on them. When it comes down to it, prayer is illogical, even in religious terms. If God has a plan, Why try to thwart it? If God can be swayed by prayers, what kind of God would allow the horrors we see in the world? And if two devout believers pray for different things, how does God choose the winner? I'm sure the San Antonio Spurs would love to know the answer to that. Prayer is nothing but a powerful placebo. We'd all be better off accepting that. Thanks for watching.